What is up guys, I'm JKU390, and we are back in The Sims 3, but as you see, we are a little bit different now. Whenever I last played, I was in the middle of working with the AOA families and all of that stuff, all that cool fun stuff. Unfortunately, my computer messed up again, and I had to reset everything pretty much back to the factory settings. With that included my save files for Sims and all that other fun stuff. So we are actually back down to, I guess, square one. All the things that happened with the people in the AOA and True Friends Gaming or whatever. I guess I'll probably make that where that's already a thing, like any weird relationships that spawned, because people seem to enjoy where those were going. So I will try and remember those. Luckily I have the videos to go back on if need be, but... So that's a thing. Um, so I'm going to be starting completely over. This is The Sims 3, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I just wanted to play, so while I'm rebuilding all of us, we're going to be probably going to somewhere new, just because I, I didn't really like the old area. I mean, it was nice at first, but I just needed more areas. So what do we have? We've got, start at Twinbrook, what is this? Sunset Valley? This was, I guess this is the original town. Starlight Shores, this is where I'm pretty sure we all lived. Which is, founded by monks over 300 years ago. The city known today is Starlight Shores, is always, and that's that place. And then there's Moonlight Falls. With its misty waterfalls and deep forests and fog-shrouded coves, Moonlight Falls cast a spell on all who enter. Sounds good. This is going to be our setting. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I know that I want to go here, so maybe this will help me. Oh boy, I get to find stuff. Alchemy Furnace. Uh, that, that's not an Alchemy Furnace? Uh, bop, 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 It's you. Click, click, click. Don't mind me, I'm just, uh... Aha! I found it, so I was right. That was it. A window. Eh. Mortar. Uh, eh. Eh. Oh, wait. Okay. Hmm. One of these bottles? Is that a potion? The F are these things then? Is that a potion? Aha! I knew I'd find it. Oh well. Alright, now. Time to create my first set of Sims. Or I guess our first set. I don't know how long I'll be whoever I end up making, but this will just be the family we go to for now. Until I repopulate... Oh, excuse me, until I repopulate the world. Weeb. Weeb? Would you call me? Uh, let's get rid of it. What is this? Okay, let's see. We can make him a human. We can make him a werewolf. We can make him Tyler. We can make him a witch. We can make him a vampire. A ghost, which doesn't really look like a ghost. Or a genie, which also doesn't... Well, that's a genie. I just guess I didn't really see it at first, but... I don't know. Wait, so the ghosts are just humans with sweet flight powers? Oh. Never mind. There he is. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stick with human. Well, I don't know. Is there anything I can get inspiration for here? A genie people tell me what to do. A ghost will get attacked by Ghostbusters. A vampire freaking Van Helsing will attack me. A witch will get smashed by a house. I'll be Tyler if I'm a fairy. And if I'm a werewolf, I'll just already have another uh, Daniel Radcliffe. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with the human. Inspiration hath struck. I was making my character... And I was like, hey, I'm going to a place that's supposed to be like a spooky horror place. And I mentioned I couldn't make vampires because I'd get attacked by Van Helsing. So I thought, why not make Van Helsing? So here we go. We got uh, Van Helsing, the half Wolverine, half Jean Valjean, half etc, etc, etc. Excuse me, I belched there a little bit. I just had dinner, actually. And that's why I didn't show my recording process of making this guy. But he is perceptive. So it's going to help him find criminals, which in this particular case will be bad guys, so vampires and zombies and any crap like that. He's going to be grumpy, because, you know, he's Wolverine as well, and Wolverine's always grumpy, because we're, we're Hugh Jackman, Van Helsing. He's a loner, he's brooding, and Daredevil's a Marvel character, so I mean, he's got to be that, right? Plus it does say he'll get to do uh, extremely exciting things, no matter what he's doing, and he wants to always do extreme things, and... He has some pretty extreme stuff. So I thought, why not? Uh, what's he gonna be? Okay, he's going to be a private eye. Uh, screw it. Anything else cool there? No. Okay. Now. His favorite food. Uh, steak. <laughs> Music. He, uh, in... Was that rock? What? Oh, roots. Okay. Color. Uh... Let's go with 
Wolverine-ish color clothes from the classic cartoon. All right. What voice makes him say "bub" the most? And he's a he's a lion because he's ferocious, like Van Helsing. All right, now he's gonna need some wise cracking partner. Who I'm not sure who it'll be yet, but I'm sure it'll be awesome. All right, so let's see, wise cracking. So he's not gonna be he's not gonna be muscular like Van Helsing. He's gonna be a scrawnier dude because that just makes sense to me. Hair. Actually, I was just gonna say how the teen like almost style hair, but uh, actually, I actually think a baseball cap would work. A backwards, yes, perfect. This is what he needs. What color is this? Yeah, that hat looks so much cooler, I guess. Let's see, it'll be, it'll be too young to have his have any facial hair. If he did anything, it'd be like little scruffs or something. Alright, so we go back to basics. His name will be Scotty. Last name Scotty. No, Scapatati. Scotty, oh, okay, Mick. Scott, Scotty Mick Scott. I'll have a greenish tint to his eye. And by greenish tint, I mean I'll have green eyes. That's all fine, sure, whatever, perfect. I'm not gonna put as much work in him. Scotty's a rabble rouser. His to His clothes are always torn up. All of them. All right, maybe not. Oh man, I should just make a sidekick be the Punisher. Oh, then he wouldn't be a sidekick. He'd just be his bestest buddy. Oh man, Scotty, you're such a hoodlum right now. It's so obvious that you're a no-good kid, kind of. Obviously, you had a you had a bad upbringing, but you're more just misunderstood now, and you just kind of want to be left alone to do your own thing. But people don't appreciate you for that, Scotty. They just think you're just a deviant. You're off doing your own thing and trying to cause havoc. But in reality, you just want to have fun and not be messed with by the arms and eyes of society telling you what and what not to do and messing up your life and you think they're just commanding you and telling you to do whatever. You just want to live your own life. And that's why you decided to live with Van Helsing, who even though he berates you and stuff, he still sees you as an individual. And that's all you really want in life. Isn't that right, Scotty? That and a big old bag of weed. Scotty doesn't like to match. He wears what he wants when he wants. That's how Scotty rolls. Even wear a watch in the pool. It's the most expensive thing you own. You got it from your father before he kicked you out of the house, and it's your most prized possession. That is... Until today, or something, I don't know. Traits. He's ambitious, he's got big plans for his future. But, uh, he's also absent-minded, he's kinda, he's not fully there all the time. He's pretty childish. He just, he wants to have fun and stuff. Yeah, he's a party animal. Opposed to Van Helsing the loner. He's gonna be a complete opposite, like, polar opposite of him. And then just because he's this type of character, he also needs to be a, he needs to be flirty. He needs to be after the chicks. Regardless of if he's good at it or not, it's a different story. And he just proved that he's bad at it. Let's see. He wants to live the lap of luxury. Exactly. That sounds just like Scotty. Scotty McScotterson or whatever I called him. Scotty likes hot dogs. Purple. It's the color of his old gang before he 
got out of it. Because all the old members are dead. And I don't know what happened to him, but he's no longer in it because he didn't want that life. He didn't want somebody else in the gang telling him what to do. He just wanted to be his own dude. And there we got it. We got Scotty, and we got Van Helsing. Kukapa. Who kind of looks like a detective, but that's okay. That just helps him hide more. People will be like, oh, it's just a detective. And they'll pull a bunch of guns out of the side and just start lighting up people. But they'll be okay because they're vampires. So let us begin, shall we? A mansion? Well, that's almost awesome, but the problem is, Scotty doesn't get a mansion. Well, he wants a mansion, but uh, Hugh Jackman's like, no, we need to live somewhere that's more secluded, or not secluded, but we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. Somewhere a little bit smaller. Like, here, actually. Woo! Here we are. Wow, that was the fastest loading time for this ever. Why can it always be like that? Alright, let's lower these walls. Looks like they knew what to do. Not give me a TV. They get brass beds, like everybody else. Because that's how it works, I guess. They need a place to sit and talk while they eat. And then there's a place for Hugh Jackman to do all of his awesome workouts. Alright, let's begin. Hello. Hugh Jackman, you're really not in character right now. You're supposed to be angry and telling him that he shouldn't be acting out. Yeah, see, now he's making fun of Van Helsing behind his back. Because he's like, oh, you're just being like a fatherly figure to me. And I don't like that. I don't need a dad. I need a man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what he needs. I don't even think Scotty knows what he needs. Now then. Scotty needs to go have a night on the town or something. We'll hang out with him for a while. And then we'll hang out with Hugh Jackman for a while. We'll just go here. Nothing's here, but he'll just go there and try... Actually, wait. There might be somewhere down here we can go. Try and meet people. Sure. He's going to visit the park. That's where he's going to go and try and pick up chicks. While he's doing going there, I'm going to reply to some texts. Alright, here he is at the park. And they won't leave him alone. Or leave me alone. Alrighty. So who's Scotty going to meet today? So far, all these people look like just normal people. So far, so good. He's just out in the town meeting people. Making faces in the mirror. He's trying to put on his best face for whenever he meets a lucky lady. Or who he thinks will be a lucky lady. They've never really been into him, and that's probably why. They're a bunch of little kids. Those aren't the right types of girls for him. Hmm. And yes, I know there's one up there, but she seemed to be in a relationship. He's not that kind of dude either. Um, I think she might be a werewolf. Rubber belly? The F? Scotty doesn't understand the dangers of werewolves and stuff yet, so right now he's just, he thinks they're a fun thing to play with. Like, he thinks of them as pets. Are you effing kidding me? So, mm. That's extremely just crap all over the entire werewolf lore. Whoa, she just did magic. The heck is she? See, the, the ladies aren't into him. It's not his fault, he's just so repulsive. See, now he knows that he, she's in a relationship with not that guy. With this guy? No. Uh... He thought that was her way of flirting. Oh, he's going home? Okay, he didn't like it. I think she was following him. Well, I hope not. Ah, he wants to go to a graveyard during a full moon. Take out his enemies. 